What's up everybody, this is Corey with Corey Hall Fitness. We're gonna be doing something a lot different this week. Instead of focusing just on calisthenics, I'm gonna add something a little bit different. I like to call it hybrid training. I'm gonna add some weights to the workouts. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna enhance your calisthenic workouts. It's gonna um, get the pump a whole lot stronger in your workouts. And you're just gonna feel a lot better after you do it because what you've been doing for the past year now, we've been doing strictly, strictly just body weight workouts. So you need to switch it up. We need to shock the body. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to, now on Corey Hall Fitness is gonna be about you know sort of everything and mixing it in all together. Because if you stick to the same routine every week or month after month, you're gonna stop seeing results. You're gonna maintain, but you're not gonna see any more results. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shock the body, we're gonna mix it up, and we're gonna do some hybrid training. So I hope you're ready. Okay, what we're gonna be doing first, we're gonna stick to the calisthenics, we're gonna, uh, do wide push-ups, then you're gonna do neutral push-ups, and then you're gonna do diamond push-ups. You're gonna do 10 for each set, and we're gonna do three sets of 10, okay? So let's start out. You wanna get it about as wide as you can get. You're gonna come down, chest about two inches off the ground, back up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now the neutral. Hands just outside the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Diamond push ups. You want to make a diamond with your hands and you want it to be almost down by your belly button. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Diamond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, last set. You wanna make sure you're doing this. You don't wanna take too long of breaks in between. Usually the most break I take is about 30 seconds until I start doing my next one. One, two, Last set, diamonds. Okay, that's the push ups right there. Now remember I said about 30 second break, maybe a minute. We're gonna go on to the next workout. Okay, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna do dumbbell press. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, okay? Now if you're a beginner, you wanna make sure that you get a little bit of a light weight until you get comfortable doing it. But dumbbell press, I like to do it pretty heavy, okay? Because if you go from body weight exercises to this, your body's gonna be really confused about what's going on. So this is perfect. And what I like to do, I like to rest it on my legs. And then when I come down, ease it on over my chest. Hands just almost like you're benching, but you're not. Push up. Okay. And in between each set, I like to do ten push ups. Okay. That's a great way to superset. We're doing calisthenics and also we're doing weights at the same time.
All right, set number two. Push-ups again, 10 of them. Ah. Telling you, if you haven't tried supersetting like this, best way to do it. Because as you're taking your break in between each set, you're almost not giving your body that time to stop pumping. You keep pushing yourself harder through the workout, even when you're at that little bit of a resting point. Okay? So we got one more set. Okay. Here we go. Push yourself last set. It's a hard set to do. One more set of push ups, knock them out. So first thing we're going to do with weights, I'm going to show you another exercise that you can do right after this. Remember, 30 second to a minute break, okay? Okay, next exercise. These are called dumbbell flies. Instead of doing the dumbbell press, you're actually going to turn your hands. I'm going to show you just how to do it, okay? Dumbbell press, your hands are like this. Dumbbell flies, you're going to turn them. When you bring your hand, you're going to come all the way down. You're going to bring them to the top. When you get to the top, make sure you hit a flex. Because what we're going to be doing, we're going to be working the inner part of your chest, okay? The middle part, okay? And then what we're going to do next is immediately come over there and do diamond push-ups to hit some more of the inner part of your chest. Okay, ready? Ten of these. Okay, diamond push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set. Second set of diamonds. Okay. Last set is the most important set. This is when you gotta push yourself the most. You wanna make sure you keep good form. One more set. Remember when you get to the top. When you squeeze together, make sure you hit that flex, okay? It's gonna bring them out more. One more set of diamonds. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's it for that. We'll show y'all something else, okay? 30 second to a minute break. All right, what we're gonna be doing next, these are called uh, prison dips. And what you're gonna be doing, we're gonna do 20 of them. Okay. Every five sets, you're gonna do it on one leg. Every five sets, you're gonna, or every five reps, you're gonna switch legs. So when you hit one, two, three, four, five, switch to the next leg. One, two, three, four, five, switch to the next leg until we get to 20. We're gonna do two sets of those, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. 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 Good. Now this, I'm gonna take about a 10 second break. Won't take any longer than that. I like to rep these out fast. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. Follow me. What we're gonna do next? We're gonna do dips. We're gonna do three sets of 15. sets. I mean, when you mix these in with the prison dips, you can't go wrong. There's going to be a constant pump. You're going to feel it in your triceps. You're definitely going to feel it in your chest. You're going to feel it a little bit in your shoulders also. Okay. Second set. Make sure you're going all the way down, bringing it all the way back up. You don't want to waste your time, you don't want to cheat yourself, you want to develop your muscles right. So in order to develop them right, do your workouts right, okay? One more set. Like I said before, you need to make a change in your workouts. This is a perfect workout to shock the body. We're using weights, we're using extreme calisthenics, we're using basic calisthenics, okay? You're gonna confuse the muscle. When your muscles get used to doing the same thing over and over, they're gonna stop adapting, okay? When you switch it up, you shock those muscles, then they adapt and they get stronger and they will get bigger. And this is exactly how you're gonna do it. Okay? If you want full workouts, go check out my new website, www.coreyhallfitness.com. Make sure you subscribe. I do videos and tutorials every week. Write me a message, post a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks.